Now in this video, I'm just going to talking about that, like how we can copy and paste the variables from one Figma project to another Figma project. So normally, you know, in Figma, we can just copy and paste anything. It's copy and paste. It's possible in Figma. We can do anything, but in variable, it's not really possible. So for these, it's having a plugin. So now in this video, I will show you that how you can do it using a plugin. Okay, so right now, if I just click on here, my local variable, this option, then you will get to see I have an, a collection that's name is main and it's have a few groups like colors and spacing variables in there. So I like to just copy and paste this, all of this thing from this project to in my, this project. To do that, I just need to first of all search here, just click on here, this plugin option. And on this plugin, I need to search export or import variables. Just simply search this and then you just need to open here this plugin. So when you're just going to open it, then you will get to see something like this type of interface. And now as you can see, we get to see all of this collection in here. So as you can see in my pr projects only have a one collection that is name is main. So I get to see this collection in here. So if I click on here, this export descent button, then they will sh say to me that like, hey, it's like a destination where you just like to save this file. So I'm just going to click on here, the save button to save this. And now we just need to go back to another project. And again, we need to search your export or import variables. And you just need to open here this plugin. And now in here, you need to click on this select or drop collection .json file. So I'm just going to click on select file. And now let's search here M. And as you can see, I get this JSON file here, m.json, that recently I was export from my another project. So I'm just click on here, this open file. And as you can see, we get a uh, collection in here. As you can see, it's successfully imported. So let's click on cross pattern. And now let's go here with this local variable. Then as you can see, we get to see have a, you know, like um, have a collection in there. So the thing is, if you get to see that, like it's totally something like there is no collection or collection one, you get to see totally blank. Then you just need to click on here, this switch option. As you can see on here, if you click, then you will get to see your newly added very like this collection in here. Okay. So now you can add your own variables. You can customize it whatever you like to do. You can do it here. Okay. And now let me show you one thing that to get this plugin, you need to go here this community and you just need to search your export or import variables. I'm only using this plugin. So, and this plugin is coming from Honza Toman. Just see here this author name. So this is mainly the author name. If you like this video, then click on here this like button. And if you need on my channel so you can do subscribe. Thanks for watching.